what we expect of our pastors, that they have an education, and a higher education too. Um, I know when I was going to seminary not that many years ago, um, the requirement was that you have an undergrad degree in order to enter the seminary, and, um, and that you're supposed to be operating at an academic level of a master's student. Um, That's right. And in the Lutheran Church, the pastor is expected to be a scholar, an ongoing scholar, who studies theology and keeps abreast on theology. That's not true of other churches. Mm -hmm. Some of the churches, the pastor is uh, a functionary, one who has a Bible knowledge, but who need not have any more than that, and who need not have a university education. The Lutherans require not only a university education, but a, an ongoing three to four, four year seminary education beyond that, which is postgraduate work. And then many pastors go on to get post uh, uh, master's and doctor degree beyond that again and continue their studies. Because theology is an ongoing discipline. It's like medicine, like uh, astronomy, like engineering. It continues to grow, and uh, those who, who are involved in it have to keep on growing with it, or they get left behind. Mm -hmm. And we don't like to do that as Lutherans. Yeah. That's right, because theology comes to new understandings as time progresses, and that's right, it's not static. Always. It's, yeah, it always changes. And that becomes also a question of what is theology? Uh, theology, um, one of the people that has described theology for me was a Roman Catholic uh, teacher by the name of John Collins at DePaul University, who said that theology is the ongoing attempt to discover the will of God through the scriptures and through the times in which we live which means that theology is an ongoing change and ferment all the time. It does not become a, a doctrine that stays the same forever and forever. It's always changing because it has to speak to the times in which it lives. And the, the people who live and who control the destiny of the times in which we live. And that's why theology is ongoing. Can you imagine a person who graduated in medicine who never read a book after they were graduated from medicine? After a year, they wouldn't know anything new anymore. Nobody would trust them and they would not be able to practice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there are some pastors, uh, even some Lutheran pastors sometimes, who, who think that way, that once you have graduated, then you're, uh, you know all you need to know from then on. Mm -hmm. And um, as you're certainly aware, uh, that uh, shows up very soon. Mm -hmm. We have to keep on growing and knowing all the time. Absolutely, yeah. Especially if we're to be ones who are to help people see a bigger picture and to know more about the world and the context in which each of us live. Yeah. The pastor is the person who is the one who interprets the scripture to the world today. Mm -hmm. And that interpretation requires an ongoing knowledge of the times in which we live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that becomes very important. Mm -hmm.